Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we will be doing lane shifting, uh, a little bit of parallel parking, and all around backing, uh, watching your mirrors and all that good stuff. All right, uh, as usual, uh, if you've seen my other videos, I provide a steering wheel on what I actually am doing. Now, it is very important that you actually pay attention to this. And just to clarify that you're not really gonna learn much if you watch my video once. It really takes a few times to watch all my videos all right it's just because there's so much going on like sometimes you're going to be watching the drone footage and sometimes and then eventually i would like you watching these mirrors all right because that's what's where the learning is i, I throw the drone in so you can um, get a good picture of what is actually happening but i will be pointing to what mirror i would like you to be watching so all right here i am coming in here and now i'm going to be back up into this space right here and I'm going to be slowly maneuvering myself around these poles here uh, that you can kind of see over here on the right. So we're looking in this mirror, regardless of the sun. Okay, and eventually, but like right now, I can, where I'm sitting, I can actually see these poles. So I'm still looking for them. Just because I'm not looking in the mirror doesn't mean I'm not looking out the window. All right, so now I lose them, and now I catch them again over in this mirror. Okay, so I'm going to straighten myself up. So as I right before here now, right, let's just take a quick little look. There we go. Let's rewind it for a second. All right. So right around here, I start cranking the steering wheel all the way to the left because I want to straighten my tractor and trailer up in the shortest distance. All right. So then at the final seconds before I was uh, straightened, I just did a little bit of uh, maneuvering just to get myself pointing where I want to do. Okay. As you can see here, I'm borderline pointing towards this trailer. That is what I want. Because uh, I'm going to let the straight back bring myself over into this position over here. All right, now i got a dead straight back. As you can see, if you look over in this mirror on the left, we see the exact same amount of the trailer as we do on the right. That tells us that we are in a straight back. So all, we do, all it takes is a little fine tuning. So now if we look at the drone here, I'm just doing a straight back. It's getting closer and closer to where I want it to be. So as you can see here, we're probably like four feet away from the trailer. That doesn't mean in four feet time I'm going to hit it, because that's what it kind of looks like over here. But in reality, if we had to draw a straight line, it would probably take around 20 feet before it would, it would hit, because of the as long as you're going a straight back. Now I turn the steering wheel to the right. Now I want you to see this mirror here. Now, right, we're going to be looking at both these mirrors. But as you can see, I turn the steering wheel to the right. So I want you to look in this mirror for a second, right? I turn the steering wheel to the right. That means the front of the trailer is going to go to the right, and the back of the trailer will go to the left. But uh, the front of the trailer is going to do a lot more maneuvering. So just uh, keep keep an eye out for that. Of course, now we are going to be focusing on this mirror here because this is where we can see the trailer. All we can hear see here is the front of the trailer, and we're going to be paying attention to this trailer over here as well. So it takes looking at both mirrors. So as I can see in this mirror over here on the right, I'm still not going to be hitting this guy over here with the front of the trailer. And we could take a look over here in the back. Forgive the darkness. It was a really bright day, so the shadows are quite dark. Okay. So as you can see, we are pointing to the back of his trailer. All right. So these are his tires here. And uh, so if I did a straight back, I probably wouldn't even clip it. But of course, that wouldn't be parallel or anything. So I've got a good 10 feet before I would actually hit him anyway. So now, as you can see, I turned the steering wheel all the way to the right. See the front of the trailer, how much it swung over to the right here? Because I have you got to do a lot more steering towards the end of your back for a lot to happen in a short distance. And... Voila. All right, so that's that back. So now we're going to be moving the trailer all the way over here and watch what we have to do for that. Okay, so I'm going to start off turning to the left. All right, I'm not, it's not all the way cranked to the left, but it's a, it's, a good, it's a good enough distance. As you can see here, I really wasn't too concerned about the swing of the trailer. Now my axles are all the way forward. They're roughly around here on the trailer. But if you want to, just for, the, for this little part here, take a take an eye eye on this little area here we got like what three feet all right watch it never actually gets any close to it okay 
now now I have, now I'm pretty much straight and I'm anything I do right now will be getting further away from this trailer now I, I am going to be turning towards the trailer now all right see the way I'm turning I'm turning towards it I'm, but the trailer is still going up far away from it so you see this line over here see even though I'm turning towards the road the trailer is still getting further away from the road okay now we're going to be focusing on these mirrors here okay so I did it a bit too far as you can see in this left hand mirror I'm still pointing towards this truck now I'm going to turn into the problem here going forward which will actually uh, get me further away from this once I am done straight so I'm going to pull forward just a few feet turn into it and then turn away straighten myself up and now I'm perfect now I can just do a nice simple straight back as you can see I'm barely even touching the steering wheel all right I'm just doing slight little movements if I see too much of the trailer over here I'll turn slightly to the right all right see where I'm turning slightly to the right here and it's slowly starting to straighten up just a little bit I will we have a we have a good distance to cover so small movements okay see we see I seem to have a perfect now both sides of the trip of the trailer I can see an equal amount okay yeah this part's kind of boring but very important still at the same time all right so I, 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 I want to turn I want to slightly to go to the right there fix it up now here I would normally get out and look but since I have a drone overhead I can pretty much tell how far away I am from the trailer behind me okay so now we're gonna be demonstrating a bit of a parallel park now these trailers here this truck and this truck here well they're not really there I, I just put them in for a for the purpose of a, of a parallel park obviously they're not here in this one so we're going to be kind of focusing on the on the drone footage all right so we're going to drive past the space and um, we, we will show you here when we actually start turning now i do my parallel parking a little bit different than everybody else i like to eliminate as much turning as possible when in reverse i like to do straight backs as much as possible all right let me demonstrate here so let's first of all this is if you're doing this in your uh, cdl test you'll fail all right I, i'm not i'm not trying to teach you how to do your cdl right now right i just want you to i want to show you what i do that is nice and safe and i found it very easy to do but let's just let's see what you think what you think of it okay so i start turning off to the left here now in a couple of seconds all right so what i'm trying to do here now right is get my trailer pointing towards the space all right and i'm going to finish off in a straight back okay so as you can see here i see both sides of my trailer i've got my ass of the trailer pointing towards the space and now i'm just going to do a dead straight back so i'm just going just doing a dead straight back that way i can see in both mirrors equally i'm not blindsiding anything blindsiding meaning i lose this i lose the sight of the main mirror all right and around here we will uh, start turning as you can see i started turning to the right which means the front of the truck will go to the left away from this point Hey guys that's my video i really hope you enjoyed it now uh please uh, subscribe i do like uh, when, when i get when i get subscribers it makes me feel that i'm actually doing something right uh give me a like too if you don't mind and uh, there's a little bell there on the bottom right hand corner i think if you want to click on that it'll uh, it'll notify you when i have new ones up i don't do it too often but i try to do it when i have spare time as you can see i do put a lot of work into these videos um i try i, I, try, I try to stay above the curve Anyway, thank you very much. Drive safe.